Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective, analyzing a common size multi-step income statement. The candy store company multi-step income statement provided below is from the last topic. In it, its revenues and expenses were classified based on how closely each item related to delivering goods and services to customers. The more closely tied they are to delivering goods and services to customers, the more likely they will be classified as part of gross margin or operating income. The less closely the items relate to delivering goods and services to customers, the more likely it is that they will be classified as other revenues and expenses. Sales revenues represent sales of goods and services to customers, so they are classified as part of gross margin. Cost of goods sold, COGS, reflect the costs that the company incurred to purchase or manufacture the products that were sold to customers, so they are classified with sales revenue as part of gross margin. Gross margin is also known as gross profit. Next, the expenses that are used to support the company's process and operations of selling goods and services to customers, such as salaries and wages, rent, utilities, advertising, insurance, postage, etc., are classified as operating expenses and are deducted from gross margin to arrive at operating income. Operating income is the result of the company's core operations. It is the company's main business which the company hopes to improve upon in the future. Revenues and expenses that are not closely tied to selling goods and services to customers or supporting the related operations are called other revenues and expenses. Examples of other revenues would be rent revenue and interest revenue. Examples of other expenses would be interest expense. Later, we will learn about gains and losses on the sale of long-term assets that will also be classified in the other category. After adding other revenues and deducting other expenses, we arrive at income before taxes. Income taxes are then deducted to arrive at net income. Although a multi-step income statement is helpful to users as is, it becomes even more helpful when the amounts on the income statement are all computed as a percentage of sales revenue to common size them. Let's take a minute to see what this common size income statement can reveal and how analysts might use it. First off, the percentages in the far right hand column were all computed by taking the noted account balance and dividing it by the sales revenue amount. The cost of goods sold percentage is 30%, indicating that its cost of goods sold uses up 30% or 30 cents of every $1 of sales revenue computed as follows. Cost of goods sold $30 divided by sales revenue $100 equals 30%. This also means that 70% of each $1 of sales revenue is left over as gross margin. Gross margin, $70 divided by sales revenue $100, which 70% is actually Candy Store's gross margin ratio. In order to gain greater insight into this company, an analyst would want to compare Candy Store's 70% gross margin in the current year to Candy Store's gross margin ratio from its prior years to see whether it is on a positive or negative trend. To make such a comparison, we would need Candy Store's prior year income statement figures. When a single income statement includes amounts for more than one accounting period, it is called a comparative income statement. We will discuss how to use comparative income statements in more detail in the next topic. In addition to comparing Candy Store's revenues and expenses to itself in the prior year, analysts will also want to compare Candy Store's current year numbers to those of its competitors. Let's just look at one of Candy Store's percentages in detail, such as its wages expense of 20% of sales revenue. An analyst would not only want to compare this percentage to Candy Store's percentage from prior years, which would have been about 18.75%, but also to Candy Store's competitors in the current year, and strive to find out what may have caused its percentage to be higher or lower or even the same. For example, what do you think some logical explanations could be if the average wages expense percentage for other companies in the same industry was only 10% of sales revenue? And what would you as management do about it? Remember, the formula is wages expense divided by sales revenue. Here are some plausible explanations for the difference. The candy store's hourly pay rate for non-manufacturing workers may be higher than that of its competitors for the same or lower quality worker. Management 
might consider reviewing its salary and wages policy to ensure they are appropriate for each worker classification. Two, the candy store might be hiring more qualified workers and thus is paying them a higher hourly wage. Management might want to verify that the skills of the higher paid workers are being fully utilized to justify the additional cost. Three, the candy store's hourly workers might be incredibly inefficient and work twice as many hours to complete the same tasks as its competitors. Management might want to look into improving its worker training or its worker motivation strategies to increase efficiency and output. Four, the candy store's competitors may be generating more sales revenue by charging higher prices and thereby reducing the wages expense as a percentage of sales revenue. Management might want to see if it can raise unit sales prices or increase sales volumes without significantly increasing its wages expense. Clearly, there are many other possible explanations for candy stores higher than average wages expense percentage, which we don't have time to dig into here. I do hope you get the point that a common size multi-step income statement can be very effective in identifying unusually positive and negative relationships of expenses to revenues as compared to the company in the past or as compared to its competitors now. Once areas of concern have been identified and the causes have been understood, management and other users can use what they learn to make plans for improvement. Sometimes management will realize that the best plan for the future will be to not fix what isn't broken. Hopefully this topic on analyzing a common size multi-step income statement made sense to you. I wish you all the best on the quiz.